No, you have to go. So when you cook Show me how to chop like a pro. Make sure your fingers, your knuckles are the first thing mm -hmm. forward. What's the song from Ghost? <laughs> I'm Magnus Reed. I'm a chef from London, England. I've got a restaurant called Legs. Hey, I'm Nick Murphy and I make music. We're um, salt baking a fish today. So we've got a, we've got a sneaky snapper in here. He's, he's a cool guy. So yeah. when you're looking for like a good fish at a market, you just look for the gills and they should have a nice separation. That's gonna happen on most dead fish, but ideally they'd kind of pull apart like that. The reason we're salt baking it is because it's a pretty decent sized fish. If we chuck that in the oven, it's sat there for like like an hour or a bit more. You're gonna end up with like bits of it that are really dry. With this, you're like just creating another oven and then it's like keeps all the moisture in. We went to the garden before and we picked some herbs. We got some thyme, some fennel, and we've got a bunch of wood sorrel. We've got these shallots. These tomatoes are from the garden. We've got capers, which are gonna go in with these tomatoes. We need to hurry up and get this going in the oven. Yeah. We just want enough salt to, like, to cover just the fish this, even, like even, <laughs> evenly. So we actually probably don't need that much. Just make sure it's all broken up from the clumps. You're using rock salt because little salt will disappear and it will kind of become like a paste. And then what we want to do is just separate some egg whites and egg yolks. You just want to break up the white and then you're just kind of tossing this in and what you kind of act in, you want to find like- Can I do that? That looks, yeah. that looks satisfying. So you use your fingers. It's probably good for your skin as well, right? I don't know. Like, you know when you're at the beach and the like ultimate sandcastle sand is like that stuff just yeah, below yeah, the surface? Yeah. That's what you're going for. Okay. This would be one of That's... the 20th times I've cooked. I threw a house party once when I was like 17, and I tried to cook ramen and gyoza. <laughs> That's it? That's the story? That's like it. <laughs> That's it. So what we're gonna do first, make a little bed for the fella. Just eyeball it. What I'll do is it goes from there to there. That's it, inside of his tail. And you fill that in. Just pat it down nice and tight. We're gonna put him on his little bed. There you go, you little fella. You rest up there on your nice little salt bed. He's a good looking fish. We need to stuff him now though. So from the garden, we got this fennel. Fennel's really good for fish. This is nice and fragrant. There's loads of room in there. Hey, fucking park a car in there. To be honest, like any herbs or like whatever you want to put in it. You any put herbs? In. Any herbs. Uh -huh. Whatever herbs. Uh, we're gonna just cut up some shallot. Just put a bit of onion in there for a bit of acidity. I haven't taken the scales off because they kind of work as a little barrier between the salt, so the salt's just not like fucking heating it and making it gross. And then let's cover him up. See you later, little fella. Next one. <laughs> All right, this is gonna go in the oven now. Get the door, would you? Oh yeah, dog. This one here. Come on, hot. And we're gonna chuck it in the middle because that's the most even temperature theoretically and I've never used this oven before. So we're gonna do like just a macerated tomato salad which is pretty much just like some nice tomatoes with some onion. From the garden, we've got this little sorrel fella. The sorrel tastes like Granny Smith apple skins. <laughs> then we're gonna dress the salad because we're doing simples. We're just gonna get this olive oil a bit of a balsamic vinegar. And then we're just gonna get our hands in there and mess it up a bit. And you can see that's already getting like this. You can see this like liquid in the bottom of it. That's important. All right, let's get this fish out of the oven. It's time. Oh, it smells fucking good. There you go. We'll just take a bit oh, of it. smells amazing. And you open it up, you have a look, and see that that's all cooked through. And then we're gonna crack it, so you get like... Oh, I wanna do end. that. Do you wanna do it? Yeah. That's done. Yes. Yeah, dog. Who's good at it now? Okay. Oh. <laughs> then you dig him out. There we go. Oh. Then we wanna just kind of slide him under there. You want the tail to pop out. Oh, yes. Voila! That's hot. Fish a la salt. Because the, the scales are still on, what we want to do is you just want to cut down to where you would imagine 
the bone to be. Then you can just kind of peel that skin back. That's satisfying. And the scales help. As a little trick is get that tomato water and just kind of chuck that, that over the guy. Yeah, that oh, that's real good up here. Yeah, this is a good bit. Mm. This is my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Same, pretty much. That shit's amazing. So yum. Yeah. For the recipe, click the link below. Muggy. Thanks for tuning in.